Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last we left off, we learned that Edgeworth was, uh, being... Well, he's in the detention center now, being accused of murder. And he does not want us to defend him, I don't know why. And we also learned that all of a sudden, we have to present our attorney's badges to people we see. That part's a stupid gimmick, but no one in their right mind would think of that after... Three episodes of not doing it. <laughs> so it's like, here, show something that you never shown before. Hmm. Anyway. So, yeah, we just met Lotta Hart. And, uh, again, I'm very sorry for my terrible southern accent, which is not really an accent. I don't mean to, to um, uh, to whatchamacallit, uh, offend anyone. But, yeah, it, it happens. Um, and let's just go back to Gordon like Public Beach because we need to wait for her to look for that roll of film. In the meantime... Uh, well, we didn't go to the boat shop yet, so why is my thing- why is my mouse saying something's loading? I, I hope you guys aren't able to catch that. I mean, if you are, then okay, but uh, one moment, guys. I gotta see what the heck's going on. It says something- Oh, you know what? Whatever. I'll worry about it some other freaking time. Where's my game? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Oh, now it's done. Yeah, when I, when I give up on it. Anyway. <clears throat> The boat rental shack, or shop, excuse me. <laughs> Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats wouldn't be good for business either. Boats? I've never ridden on one. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea, you bet. You know, I find it weird. It's like, he, and it, it, it's just called my, this is so, this is so obviously Japanese writing, but why did they decide to blur out the Japanese writing, and, well, this is obviously the science thing, boat rental, so I can't say anything on that, but why blur out for the American audience, the, the, this, well, what, does it say a bad word or something? It's clearly kanji, I recognize a couple of the characters as kanji. Ugh, I, I. I took Japanese one in college, and while I don't remember almost nothing of, while I remember almost nothing of it, I remember I recognize a couple, especially these two that my mouse is on. Those are clearly kanji characters. It's like seriously, what are you thinking, American people? Why did you do that? Anyway, there's no point to be here. And just out of curiosity, do we have to go in and out? That way we can um. Uh... No, we 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 legit have to do something else. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's go ahead to the um. Uh... To the precinct. <clears throat> we haven't been there yet. Or criminal affair, criminal affairs department. That that. What we have to say. Hmm. I guess Detective Gumshoe was still in that meeting. Oh, hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming down, pile. Uh, Detective Gumshoe. We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edwards said anything? Not a word. Beautiful. So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell your pal you're a lawyer. True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edwards human like you or me, but... I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hide in it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else say that? So, they think Mr. Edgeworth did it. Well, the trial's to going tomorrow, as scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, you, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pile. Y yes, sir. And, and do me a favor. Stand by, Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the only ones who can help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. <clears throat> but, if you don't mind me asking, why do you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? <laughs> well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. 
a working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts in our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. Um, I was wondering, did you happen to ever get that autopsy report? Uh, oh, that? Uh, yeah, I made a copy for you. Time of death? 24th or the 25th? Well, they did say that something about, like... I don't know what they said, actually. <laughs> I'm talking out of my butt. One shot to the heart. Ooh, that's a way to die. Uh, thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face? Is someone you know? I, I don't know. I... I just have this feeling that I've met him somewhere. Like, a long time ago. Beautiful! Maya seem might know the victim! What connection do you two have? Is... 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 is, is he your father? <laughs> okay, no, that, that was a bit too far, actually. Yeah, we're, we're not going in there. Um... The, I have nothing to present to you. I don't know... Now yeah, let's go back to Gord Lake. Uh, no, I didn't want to go there. Uh, oh. Okay, we can go there then. Never mind, I meant to go there. <laughs> no, I really meant to go to Gord Lake. Oh my god. I made a mistake and I actually think I got a progression. Oops. <laughs> what is it? Oh. Nothing. Just... It's just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Uh, hey, I remember now. This this guy, he's a lawyer that was at that office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait, you mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, at least for old times' sake. Uh, and you just do what to do, any ideas. Yeah, that doesn't help at all. I was going to question you about it, but never mind. Well, thanks, Maya. You remembered about that. I don't want to present anything to you. Uh, let's go to Mr. Grossberg's office, then. I mean, why the heck not? <clears throat> and apparently he never got his picture back. It's been a while since I was here last. Mr. Grossberg, Grossberg is out as usual. Hey, Nick. Look at the wall. That painting's still missing. Mia must have known about the deal with Mr. Grossberg in Red White. She kept track of all of White's extortion and blackmail rackets. Okay, he's not here. Never mind. Waste of time. Good. No, I don't want to examine the bare wall. Jesus. Uh, how long has that picture been there? I mean, the, the, the paint in the back looks new, but then everything else is, like, faded out. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh... Lotta, do, do you have anything to show us? Where, where are you? There you go, Gordic entrance. Yeah, Gordic. Um, ow! Move! Do not, do not hit your knee on the ground too hard, you're liable to break it! <laughs> That's exactly what I just did. Anyway, uh... Where are you? There you go, Gord Lake Wood. Oh, thank god. She does have something. <clears throat> hey, y'all! Lotta! Wait up a sec, we got bingo! Bingo? <laughs> My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Uh, hey! This is them. Let's take a look. Wait. See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yeah. But you can't really tell who is shooting. Yeah, well, there wasn't enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But, you know... Seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Oh, never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? Uh, 
I want to say no to give Edward the best chance, but the law-abiding citizen in me, in sarcasm, um, no, I really am law-abiding, uh, says yes. I, I reckon so. What's that? <clears throat> now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, anyway, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Oh, wait. Lotta. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. <laughs> nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice. And that means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. L Lotta? <laughs> I don't let it get your skitties in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? Ah, uh, no matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot dog! She left. Well, that's one more witness. What are we to do now, Nix? Nix? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? Uh, I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Yeah, Nix, we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> I can't believe I said Nix, and his name and his nickname was Nick. I don't know what possessed me to say Nix, but whatever. Anyway, now can we see Mr. Grossberg? Or whatever this is? <laughs> Uh, looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! Ah! Nick! I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Nick? You know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. L Larry? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working on my day job. I sell samurai dogs. You want one? You gotta get money for dates, you know? My girl Keyonce deserves the best. Keyonce? Oh, not another model, I hope. Oh, Keyonce's a fine, fine woman, Nick. <laughs> it was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. That's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must really, she must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your, not my, what? no, no, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm uh, the little sister. Sister? <clears throat> wow, Nick, you must be tough. Walking nine to five, having to take care of a little sister? Uh, no, 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 I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh, sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. Clearly he isn't. I forgot the voice I did for Larry, but whatever. I'll just start a new one, apparently. <laughs> uh, hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you work here, did you hear anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. <laughs> I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's, it's just... Well, Keonse's not in town right now. She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake, and the trial's tomorrow. Huh, neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. W whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow. I never knew. Oh, don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. <laughs> like his father. Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer. Defense, 
defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? And she's got a probi- probos- Proboscis on his knee? No, 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 no. He's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh. Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak or unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. It was a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? I have no idea. Oh, uh, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs. Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs, you know, like, guard dogs. Ouch. The samurai thing was Keontae's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. <clears throat> she made me that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of these samurai dogs. Um... Something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake, what with the big news. The big news? Yeah, Gordy. Gordy? Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant, mysterious monster. Gordy. A, a monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. Just a photo. Wow. It it's really real. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Nick, it's a real monster. Uh, yeah. Probably just a log or something. Right? Hey. There's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm. What's it say? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Well, I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, can I borrow this article from you? <laughs> sure, no problem. That'd be a million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Ah, uh, beautiful. Ugh. Evidence of a monster in the lake. Mm, okay, yeah. It's the Loch Ness Monster all over again, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure that's actually where they got the in uh, 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 inspiration for it. Uh, 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 for Gordy, the Loch Ness Monster. Loch Ness, Loch Ness. Anyway, uh, I have no idea where to- Oh, yes, um, we actually have to go back to my office first. Uh, let's see if Grossberg is back. Oh, goody, he is. <clears throat> <clears throat> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. <laughs> Your Mia's something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes. Phoenix Wright. Aha! And you, you're Mia something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You come to look a lot like your sister, you know. It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see? Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir. Hmm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I... well, I just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. Because he hadn't heard anything. Uh, Miss Grossberg. Uh... Don't mean to be off topic, but whatever happened to your painting? Oh, yes. I do not think I, it'll, it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. 
I suppose it's just it's my just desserts. Old bitter desserts. Well, anyway. Well, you need a picture. And, uh, just had a... Maybe the autopsy report? Because she did... Uh, Maya did say there was a picture in the autopsy report, so... Here. <laughs> hmm? Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer. Here, in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond. And you say this is the man Miles Edward shot? Uh, who is this Hammond guy? Mr. Hammond. He was the best... Uh, he was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes. The DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for me me as murder. That was the incident where the police were so at the loss they used a spirit medium. <sighs> Wait. You don't mean... Was that... Medium, my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DL6 incident. It happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They, n they never caught a criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man, but Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, <clears throat> yes, yes, quite. Thank you. N no, please, d don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. B but wait, what does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Ed Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. W what? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait, this is a photo of my mother. The plot thickens. So, Robert Hammond and Miles Edgeworth are connected from a case that happened 15 years ago. I can't get to the right button. To, from a case 15 years ago. Oh my god. From a case 15 years ago known as the DL6 incident. And apparently Edgeworth might know more. Or at least Grossberg's not willing to talk to us. Uh, it's a crapshoot. Let's give it a shot. I don't know if he'll talk to us. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Can we talk more? Uh, yeah, why not? <clears throat> Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again, just leave me alone. Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case. Understand? Okay. Then... A a then can I ask you why you went to Gord Lake? I have no intention of telling you. Nor apparently would you tell Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe is really worried about you. He just won't talk. Well, let, let's try Mr. Grossberg's suggestion. <clears throat> Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited, yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. 
Right. Deal six. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like and I will answer to the best of my abilities. So he does not want us anywhere near DL6, but now that we know he was involved, well, there's no point in hiding anymore. No, I don't want to move away. I keep pressing wrong button. <sighs> there we go. <clears throat> the DL6 incident. That was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed, and I saw it all. <sighs> my memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have shot, killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond, and Hammond, is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean your? <sighs> it's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end. And now this. About to end? The DL6 case incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on that case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick... What does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. <clears throat> what happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from the public view. Nobody knows where to, though. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so, was your father a lawyer? <clears throat> he was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. <sighs> I'd rather not talk about it. Can I present this? <clears throat> <clears throat> Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edworth, did you shoot him? <clears throat> what do you th Ugh. What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So, y you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know. You want us to defend you. Yes. Will you? Of course. Ah, uh, who, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back. For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Ah, uh, never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. <clears throat> well, I guess we should. Huh? W what's that? Earthquake! Nick, it's a big one! Whoa! Whoa, it, it, it's calming down. Whew! That was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in the ball, shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard him running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's gonna stand up anytime soon. 
Let's go, Nick. Uh, uh, right. We we have to give Edgeworth letter of request to Detective Detective Gumshoe. Uh, everyone has their own defense mechanism, I suppose, in scary moments. Where Edgeworth is, being on the floor, curled up in a ball. Okay. Yeah, I won't question it. <laughs> anyway, criminal affairs. <clears throat> <clears throat> What's going on here? Uh, what's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk. She, says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Miss Rod had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? No, no, not at all. It's just I me. Mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, uh, you're trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. So, what did Miss Hart say? She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth follow the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Oh, right. I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photo who's shooting. Well, that's what she says she's that's why she says she's gonna enlarge the photo. She, she said it'll drop the quality of my, but should let us see who's who. She can do that? Okay, so there's gonna be an enlarged photograph that shows Edward in the act. Yay! Just great. In any case, she's gonna be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a consolation. A cancellation? I'm afraid tomorrow's gonna be a life or death situation for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. Now, I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's gotta be something I've overlooked. <clears throat> uh, it sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is gonna ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork, but you still got time, pile. Go talk to him again. For me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make him let you defend him, please. I know you're the only one that can do it, pile. You're the only one who can save him. Well, funny you should say that. I actually do have the letter of request. Look what I got. Oh, hey, you did it, pile. I'm glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, Detective. Well, we'll see you in court tomorrow. Good luck, pal. Oh, uh, hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? Well, we're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go eat and... You two go eat and get yourself some rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what it's... I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder... He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to him. And so ends the investigation and the start of what is going to be probably one of the most interesting, uh, Moments we're going to get in this game. <laughs> oh boy. It's going to be super interesting. Uh, but we'll save that for the next time. Later, people.